The FBI said the Weather Underground Organization, which took credit for the bombing, is the same radical group which was responsible for the bombing of the U.S. Capitol in 1971 and the Pentagon in 1972. is going to be overthrown. It's going to mean a fight. And it's going to mean a lot of white people risking a lot of things. Don't ever say we're going into a revolution. We're in the revolution. Now the question is, who's going to win it? Freaks are revolutionaries, and revolutionaries are freaks. Within the next 14 days, we will attack a symbol or institution of American injustice. Anyone who does have any information on where these people are located should immediately contact the FBI. that history's ever created. I'm not committed to nonviolence in any way. From the underground, that radical left-wing group, the Weathermen, has claimed responsibility for yesterday's dynamiting of a statue of a Chicago policeman. The group promises more attacks on the establishment around the entire country starting next week. The medium for this message was a tape recording, reputedly by the fugitive Weatherman leader, Bernadine Dorn. He came by mail this morning. The group said that it planted the bomb to commemorate the one-year anniversary of the military overthrow of the Allende government in Chile. to 30 people in the group. We know who they are. Uh, there are federal warrants out on, I believe, 12 of them. A dynamite explosion last night heavily damaged one floor of the Gulf Oil Corporation's Pittsburgh headquarters. No one was hurt. A radical group called the Weather Underground said it set the blast in retaliation for Gulf's policies in Portuguese Angola in Africa.
And when you feel that you have right on your side, you can do some horrific things.